Welcome, this is a setup tutorial and advice on how to do frame perfect milk swap pause for only doing the milk swap with two C buttons. So, you know, like if you have Ocarina specifically equip swapped over bow or something like that. Hmm. Here you go. Back walk into the wall, go to the ledge, target while climbing, blam. Get this camera, pull hook, wait until it evens out, or you can speed it up by tapping down to get get it closer to evening out. You there is an alternate setup I'll show if you like the camera a little more, it's in case you wanted to show it, but starting with this one. Drink the milk. Pause on this frame coming up. That was way too late. It's the last frame that you can see there though. For context you will probably be Milk swap, er, equip swapping the milk so that you can retry it over and over again because the trick is not necessarily friendly, and I would do this as a beginner myself. In more detail, what I'm looking for is I'm looking down at the bottom of Link's shorts, the green tunic he's wearing, like the very bottom where you can see the top of his legs, the skin that's showing. So you can't see the back of the shorts right now, but very soon. Now you can start to see it, it's still going down, you can see more and more and more of it, until finally, on this frame you want to pause, and equip the bottle over it. Now the reason I do what I do, and look for that specifically, is because you have a bit of a lead-in, and you have a visual cue for that lead-in, and it's very apparent, there are not very many apparent in-action visual cues on Link, in my opinion that have both a lead-in and a relatively solid visual cue. It's just the point at which his sh the back of his shorts reach the lowest point. It takes a fair bit of practice, mind you, I think, so I would do that and get the muscle memory for it, but this actually feels like you can actually get the muscle memory for it, similar to uh, Turtle Cutscene Skip, TCS, whatever you want to call it. So that's why I do this specifically, and that's why I go with this setup. You could also go with a different setup. The rest of this, mind you, will be the same. So it doesn't really matter what you do. And this one, you don't target while climbing. You target after climbing. And then you turn around the shield turn. It does give you a very slightly different position. It does not seem to matter, at least so far in testing. In fact, actually, it looks like this was different from any other previous position. But I'm not too concerned about that right now. So same thing, except you're looking at the opposite side of Link Shorts, and you're going to be basing it out the back right of Link Shorts. Earlier you were looking at the back left of Link Shorts, at least I think so anyways. So just like before, wait for that frame. I missed it again, how embarrassing, except I can equip swap. If I get this within three tries, I'm happy. And before, it was like, if I can get it once in every... 10 tries, I'm happy without this. Or more specifically, even like I was button mashing, it was miserable. Okay, there we go. So that's the frame. This one, it reaches the lowest point. You'll want to practice that yourself, like I said. On this frame, whatever your setup you do, quick bottle. And I screwed up already. I am mad at myself. I'm going back to this setup. If you're fast enough, for whatever reason, you can skip that little leveling out thing. Okay, there we go. Alright, now, the rest of the setup, again, same between the two initial camera setups, whatever you're gonna do. You're gonna target, back walk a little bit to the back right. If you really want, you can just go to the side of the torch, I guess. Uh, it's not how I've been doing it, but whatever is fastest for you. And then what you're gonna do is tap left or ESS left, whatever you want to do. That should be fine. I don't think it's going to matter too much, really. Alright, so get into position. The reason that we have to back walk and get out of the way first is because if you're right next to that wall, you're going to target it, so it just completely ruins that. But uh, right now, you're lined up, so then you can do the rest of the setup again, same between the two. Pull hook while targeting. First frame that Link's shield is back into its normal position, not the frame where the red dot is visible or the frame after. Hold down while continuing to hit, continuing to hold target and hookshot. 
You're gonna hear the the hookshot clank, of course. You're gonna hear the first hookshot that we stored at the wall soon. And you want two frames after that. If you want to know the visual or the um, frame data for that stuff, whatever. You're gonna be looking for the B button, and it's gonna be resting. Hopefully, it should be resting on that, that white rectangle of a spot on the wall. It should be very apparent compared to all the other rectangular walls, or the all the rectangle white spots, whatever. That's the widest one. Fantastic. You're gonna release hook on this frame, but you're gonna continue to hold down on target. Cool. You got your hook jump, and it's gonna make it. Go ahead and equip choose. Although you don't want to just recoil off a chew immediately. You want to wait a little bit. reason for that is if you're going too fast, too high, too quickly, you're not going to be in the range of the explosion. You want to wait until like, I think it's like 39 or 38 speed. And if you want to memorize this visual cue, sure, so be it, whatever, have at you. Um, you can do that. You can go ahead and shield it. And then I recommend going curving to the left by holding right during the recoil flip just a little bit. Sometimes, you know, you mess with yourself, you might go too far to the left. If you don't do that, there's a fair chance if you recoiled very early that you're gonna go over the bridge and you're not gonna be you're gonna be sad. Alright, you can come over here, do recoil flip and then hold left and go right into the boss room. Obviously you could do have the bomb, whatever, you click the bomb while in the air. Whatever you wanna do. But that is the setup that I am recommending for this. And then a, a similar setup I'll be explaining later, probably in the beginner or the yeah the beginner tutorial route tutorial for Snowhead, the same trick, but for the um, Zora hookshot hover, whatever you call that, Zora state hover, Zora hover, hookshot hover thing. Good luck, everyone.